Welcome to the Dr. Money Podcast. This is episode 156, and we are pretty much smack dab in the middle of November here. Um, it's actually finally getting a little bit chilly here uh, in New York. It was cool, very cool yesterday in the morning when I was dropping my son off at school, and it was cool today as well. Um, so I think, um, you know, our the last little breaths of summer, like we had some crazy like 80 degree days last week or the week before, um, are finally petering out, but I guess that's normal. It's a good thing. Um, the seasons are changing. Uh, it is a, uh, special day for the guy you never see my man behind the camera, Ismail. It's his birthday today. He turned 30 years old today. Oh my goodness. Um, Ismail is the guy that creates all this amazing content and we're very grateful for him and wish him an amazing birthday, Ismail. Happy birthday. Um, all right, so back to the uh, content of this podcast. So this podcast is going to be kind of similar to a podcast I posted a couple of months ago uh, where I spoke about this amazing human being named Julius who works at my kiddo's school. He uh, you know, does some of the security stuff at the school, um, but I would usually see him when I would drop my kids off at school. He'd greet the students and you know, see the interactions he had with, his, with, with the students and it always... Well, he always had a smile on his face and I always put a smile on my face. And I know I'm not alone. I know a lot of the parents felt the same way. Um, interestingly, um, I had a very similar experience with a patient of mine. Um, so every doctor will tell you, like, you know, before you start your day or maybe the day before, you can kind of take a look through your list, see what's ahead of you or, you know, what, what the day is looking like. And, um, you know, sometimes there's like, you know, a, a little bump in the schedule where, you know, it's going to be, you know, a patient might be a you're not the most fun or easiest to be around. And it's like a little like, you know, you just got to get over that hump and then the smooth sailing after that. Um, but many times you see a name on your schedule and you're just like, oh, yeah, I can't wait to see that patient. You know, you really love that patient and interacting with the patient. And I had like a, I had one of those on my schedule last Friday. So uh, it's a patient of mine who's, she's been a patient of mine for, gosh, I mean, definitely at least 10 years, if not longer. Uh, an awesome human being, someone I just love to see, I love caring for. Um, and, you know, when you see someone for so long, you know, they just kind of get, like, you know, integrated into the fabric of your life, you know. You know a lot about them. They know a lot about you. You know, I share a lot about myself and my family and, you know, things I'm up to. Um, so it's always really nice. It's just like a nice little catch up, you know. Most of my patients, a lot of my patients I see yearly, but some patients I see a little bit more frequently depending on what, you know, they're coming in for this particular patient was coming in for like her yearly skin cancer screening and we we're doing some laser stuff as well i see her like every few months so you know i kind of have a good beat on what's going on in her life as she does with mine um you know when i walked into the room she was in you know one of our paper blue paper gowns and uh which i don't like cloth gowns because i don't know for some reason i just think they're kind of gross like when they're reused so i just like disposable stuff so they're not the most you know designer uh, looking gowns, but they, they serve their purpose very, very well. And she was standing in the room, kind of, you know, just putzing on her phone, waiting for me to come in. And when I walked in, you know, she just, you know, she put her phone down, was getting ready to sit down. And she, you know, she just looked at me, she said, you know, I really feel like I just need to hug you, you know? And, uh, it's funny because I felt the same way. Like when I walked into the room, it's like kind of like seeing an old friend and like, you know, someone that you would just like, you know, you give him a hug, you know? And, uh, I, and uh, you know, so we, we hugged it out and then, you know, we proceeded with the visit. Um, you had an awesome conversation. You know, it was, it, was a, it was a nice long appointment because I did the skin cancer screening and then, you know, we were bullshitting through that, talking and stuff. And then I did a laser procedure. So, you know, we had a, you know, a good session, good catch up session. Um, but interestingly, like, you know, later in the day, I was talking to my PA about something else. You know, maybe I think she may have been like presenting a different patient to me or saying, you know, let's go see this patient. And, for some reason, like the conversation went back to this particular patient who I'm speaking about, this patient whom I love. And my PA said to me, she's like, you know, like her name came up. <laughs> my PA said to me, he's like, you know, I just love her. And I said to her, I was like, I just do too. And it got me thinking about, like it got me thinking about the Julius podcast again, because like there's something just so intrinsically just beautiful about these people, you know, like Julius and this woman. Um, and then, you know, many other people who I've, it, I've encountered, but there's almost like this aura around them. Like, you know, you, like when you're around them, you just feel good. You know, like you're just, your, your, your heart is warm. Um, and it's, you know, they're just like, you just feel like just this kindness. And it's, it's an amazing thing. I'm sure many of you have experienced the same thing. And 
it just got me thinking like, you know, what is that? Like, you know, what is that magical quality that these people share? You know, it's just like, you know, they're both very similar. When you're around Julius, you just feel good. You know, you just want to smile. You just feel really, you know, like warm and fuzzy inside. When I'm around my patient, you know, this, this particular woman, same thing. You know, you just like feel really good. There's just like this amazing energy about these humans. I just... I don't know exactly what it is. I've been racking my mind about it. I kind of like figure out what it is because I would love to have some of that. You know, it's just, it's so magical. And uh, I really think what it is, is this insanely deep well of kindness that they have. And the well is just like spilling over, you know, like, you know, it, it's just such a deep, full well. It just like spills out into the universe around them and it's it's like palpable energy you know and what really made me think about this was when my pa had the same exact feeling like you know gosh i just there's something about her i just love her and i was thinking the same exact thing and i'm sure everyone else in our world thinks the same thing just like everyone thinks the same thing about julius you know they're just these magical figures that have this incredible energy and it's an aspirational energy it's something that i feel like you know i certainly want to aspire to be more like, you know, I would love for the energy I'm emitting for it to be, you know, a contagious, positive, warm energy that makes other people feel great. Imagine how great that would be. Imagine if all of us aspire to be a little bit more like that. You know, it is just, it's that je ne sais quoi that these folks have. And uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm really going to do a deep dive and try to figure out exactly what it is. But I think I'm on the right track. I do think that this amazing, powerful force just emanates from a heart that's just spilling over with kindness because, you know, kindness always wins the day. So with that, I hope you all have a wonderful, restful weekend and are just ready to crush and dominate the week ahead. Let's get it.